come down here to be an astronaut, uh, I was considered a civilian. So I went to work as a civil servant, and I was making more money than most of the guys that were on active duty because I started off at uh, $13,050 a year. And uh, when I left NASA eight years later, they were paying me $25,000 a year. Everybody thinks uh, you, you make a million dollars for going into space. That wasn't true. Uh, the only extra, I was a uh, lieutenant colonel in the Air Force when I flew, and the only extra was uh, uh, NASA, <clears throat> uh, a trip to the moon is temporary duty. That's TDY in the military. And they pay you per diem. And so, <laughs> and so uh, uh, we all filled out travel vouchers, you know. It's like, <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, Houston, Kennedy, Kennedy, Moon, Moon, Pacific, <laughs> Pacific, $39, Houston. Charlie. I got $39. What'd, uh, you, what'd you get? I got $39. Well, you got more than I did. <laughs> uh, I feel uh, we were left. You were a day long. You were a day late longer. Anyway, uh, uh, and I, I'm not counting the, here on the, on Earth, but in space, 11 days for us, and it was $25 a day, 275 <laughs> bucks, you know. Uh, but government quarters and meals were furnished, so they deducted that part. <laughs> There's and I little, ended up with a check for about thirteen dollars and seventy-five cents. There's an important oh, point. Hey, John, you know, you know what I always loved about that? I got more money than Buzz Aldrin got. <laughs> there, I tell you, there's an important point about this going to work there that most people probably have never even heard of or thought about. And uh, with our group, we had the first two. Uh, they classified as civilians, Rusty Schweikert and myself, and so. Uh, when they looked at us being covered by NASA's life insurance policy, it would have run the uh, rate up for all of the NASA employees so far that we were not covered by life insurance. Rusty and I were not covered by life insurance as NASA hmm. employees. Apollo, I got money. 